Hey guys, what's going on? So it's Sunday, I'm at the shop, I'm working on Michael's car still. Um, I took the uh, instrument panel out. Um, we have a replacement harness for it, but I looked inside there and there's a lot of water damage inside there and nothing really looks very clean. Doesn't make any sense doing any of that. So we're gonna rebuild all that, but in the middle of taking the dashboard apart to clean everything up, um, I realized I did not have a key. Well, I did not have a key. Now, my buddy Sammy, her muscle auto poultry Sammy, passed a while back and uh, gave me a bunch of his stuff when he was cleaning out his garage and this giant box of GM and Ford keys right here. And I will say probably eight or ten times I uh, would acquire a vehicle or get a car, find an ignition switch, and I would just go hit up Sammy and he'd go through these keys, take him a couple minutes, but lo and behold, he would find a key that uh, fit so i used the uh sammy head technique of picking a lock i just opened the box went through maybe eight or ten keys found this key and literally that was it accessory on everything looks perfect that is the correct key for that ignition probably not for the glove box or the door that's a separate key but at least i can take the ignition switch out so all that's needed is the key Good to have the key. They're easy to pick, but it's easier with a key. And the uh, General Motors ignition switch removal tool, otherwise a paper clip. Key to accessory. You can see this little hole right here. When it's turned to accessory, it lines up with a little locking pin inside the ignition switch. You can feel it depressed, a little spring loaded. Turn it, comes right out. As you can see, paper clip goes right through there and goes right in. And it hits this little pin right there. Once you hit that, then you can turn it a little bit further towards accessory or counterclockwise. And then you can pull the ignition locking uh, nut off. And as you can see, it won't fit through there. So if you try to just unscrew it, it won't come out. So you can't uh, untwist it and push it out the other way and hot wire it. And that was, I think that was a, a theft deterrent of some sort. Put it back in there, turn it, so you don't lose it. So that's it, there's your tech tip. Save GM keys, you see them anywhere. As long as they don't belong to somebody's car and they're gonna be all pissed off trying to get new ones, just save them. Old keys come in handy. Stick them in a box, doesn't cost you nothing. And, but it saves you plenty. That's it, you guys. Thanks for checking it out. See you later.